right now at five. I could hear it, and when I did not hear it for a second, that's when I looked up to see it start to go down. One day later, investigators piece together clues. As pieces of the wreckage are removed from a neighborhood, coping with the aftermath of a plane crash. And people who witnessed that crash are describing what they saw and how they jumped in to help the victims. We have CBS 4 News live team coverage beginning with Ted Scouten live on the scene in Pompano Beach. Ted? Hi, Ruta Band Rick. Well, right now this investigation is wrapping up. Uh, take a look here, right there. There it goes. That is the wreckage that was just pulled out of the backyard of the uh, home here. Right over there, that is a crane that actually lifted that plane out the out of the backyard. The NTSB uh, investigators were here throughout the day trying to figure out what caused all this. Fuselage is hoist from the backyard of a Pompano Beach home, along with part of the landing gear. Piece by piece, that twin engine plane is loaded onto a flatbed trailer. Monday afternoon, the plane crashed into a backyard after hitting the roof of another house. I hope the person in the house is okay. Neighbors used garden hoses trying to put out the fire after the plane burst into flames. I ran between the houses straight for the airplane, engulfed, yelling. Is there anybody in the homes? Warren Beck was one of the first people on the scene. He raced over after noticing the plane was in trouble. I could hear it, and when I did not hear it for a second, that's when I looked up to see it start to go down. The NTSB will want to speak to him. Investigators are on the scene trying to figure out what brought the plane down onto the home, then skidding across a yard. Today, my plan is to get on scene and to document the site, including the impact marks and the aircraft, including the engines, the airframe. Leah Reed is the lead investigator. She spent most of the day in the backyard and will now study each piece of the burned plane. She'll also speak to the three survivors who were inside. I know they were on takeoff and, and obviously something something happened and that's what we're going to hopefully determine here over the next few days, months. <laughs> Reed tells us it appears they were practicing landing and takeoffs known as touch and go. Beck said one of the survivors explained what they were doing. They were doing test flights okay. and uh, that's where I heard the engine stop and they were doing uh, a test flight of turning the engine off and turning it back on. And in about a week or so, the NTSB will release a preliminary report uh, about this investigation. Then we should expect more in six to nine months after that. Now, late this afternoon, we did learn the names of all those victims who survived. With more on that, CBS4 live team coverage continues with Joan Murray. She is live at Pompano Airport.